My name is Juan Zavala and I'm 18 years old. I'm from Mexico City, Mexico. I started playing football when I was 14 years old. I'm committed to play football at Boston College. All throughout middle school in Mexico is the culture like you play soccer, right? So I started playing soccer all throughout my years and I wasn't good at all. Uh, I was very aggressive as a defense. I used to run into the people. And then one day I wanted to hang out with a friend and I was like, yo, what are you doing today? And he's like, oh, I can't hang out, I have practice, but do you want to come? So I went to that football practice and it was only conditioning. Like the only thing we, we did was run. But just from that tiny part of it, I fell in love with the sport. There's nothing else I wanted to do apart from that. On Sable, touchdown! What brought me here was I wanted to become better at football, the whole COVID thing started, and I was like, if I really want to be great at football, there's no better place to know if I'm, if I have the college level or NFL level, and should I continue the dream? Or should I just stop playing football and can, like, continue my academics? So coming here was like my test to see if I was actually good or not. And I ended up coming here to try and test that and work that. I came here and I was like, oh, I want to be a running back. They were like, well, you know what you want to play? Go ahead, play that. Like they let me choose my own freedom on what I wanted to play. So I started doing that. And then Coach Bray, Coach Dennis, Coach Pond, they were all like, I feel like you have more potential to be recruited as a linebacker than as a running back. And I was like, yeah, you guys know best, so I'm going to give it a try. So thanks to their advice, I switched to linebacker. And that summer is when I got the spot at BC for being a linebacker. At first, I didn't even believe it. Like when I went up there, they, they worked me out and they talked to me. At the end, they were like, "Okay, like so you have a spot on our team." And I was like, I didn't believe any part of it until I came out of the meeting with the coaches and I posted on Twitter. And then one of my friends called me, and I was like, and he was like, "Yo, like congrats for this." And I was like, "Like I actually did this." And then back home, when it's when I committed, I just faced the coaches up to my family, and I was like, "Like this is it. Like I made it." I couldn't be happier about that. Like all the work you put in, thinking you might not be that good or thinking you are, like you have the potential and actually achieving your goals is, there's nothing compared to it. Uh, the advice I would give someone in my shoes is, there's nothing better than to work. Like when I was in that position, I looked up to the, like all the news, all the players, like oh, they're doing all these great things. Like I wish I was with like them. But there is nothing better than to start and working like that. Like if you want to be the great, you have to act like it and work like it. What people don't think a lot is like, I just work and that's it. But you have to focus on all aspects of your life because you just can't become the best person and athlete you can with only working on football. You have to work on football, school, your personal life, everything. So just work. What's next for me is once I'm in Boston College, I'm going to try to be the best athlete and person I can. My goal is to work out to starting freshman year. And if I'm not able to do that, I'll try to work as hard. It doesn't matter where I am, or what position I am, what spot I am, but to be able to uh, make a change. It doesn't matter if it's uh, in the football field or outside the football field. I want to be able to affect people's lives in a positive way.